Hello and welcome back to Man of the Ants Plays Planet Coaster's Career Mode. So we're still trying to work through King Coaster. Or the Scenario King Coaster, I should be more specific when I talk, shouldn't I? The Scenario King Coaster. And I just need to just quickly check something's working. Yes, that seems to be working. Suddenly a bit paranoid that the recording wasn't working properly, but I had to do yes, everything's fine. So last time we built this, the monster. This huge wooden bear moth, which appears to have broken. Is it broken or are they stuck? What's going on? I think it's because I've got two carts. There's two trains in their block section, so it's waiting for people to get on this one, I think, before the next one can start. But anyway, as we noticed last time, this particular ride hemorrhages money a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to close it down. Just going to close it down. I'm going to leave the ride there. Oh, I still want it to... Uh, does that mean you are now stuck? Hmm, I think that might be stuck. Doesn't seem to be doing much, does it? Oh, there we go. I think it's on its way now. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, so they're not stuck forever. So last time we built the monster, which satisfied the conditions of being... Uh, what was it? What was it? It was at most six nausea, a thousand meters long, and an average speed of 30 miles an hour. That's what it was. So we did that. That's gone fine. And obviously we built this one first and then this one here. So next coaster we have to build is at least seven excitement at most four nausea and at least eight inversions. Eight inversions with at most four nausea sounds like it's going to be tricky. Sounds like that is going to be very tricky. So we just, that's about exactly what I was about to do, the research projects. Ah, oh, it's only a couple of flat rides. No one really cares. It's just there for the fun of it, really, isn't it? Because I think we ran out of coasters to research once that one there is done. So let's pop the speed up and we'll see what that one is before we decide on what coaster it is we are going to use. Because um, the next one has to be 8 excitement, 4 fear, an average speed of 35, and a biggest drop of at least 100 meters, which is massive. Mahas Eve. So this next coaster then, where are we going to build this next one? I guess over this side. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Well, we could build it here, maybe? Didn't have a length restriction. Neither of them do, do they? No. So maybe I'll try and squeeze it in over here then. Or do I... Oh, I don't know. Oh, I really don't know. No. No, I'm not going to do that. I refuse to do that. I'm going to bring this path out. I'm going to build it over here. So let's bring the path out first of all. Which I was trying to keep straight and immediately failed. I think I zoomed out a bit too far to really do straight. So let's just bring it all the way out. Probably could have just increased the length, couldn't I? Probably. Seems like a sensible thing to do, doesn't it? Or maybe I'm not very sensible. Maybe I'm not very sensible. So there is what I think might be the last coaster, the Invincible. Oh, it's not. We do have another, what, another one. The Steepest Drops, which might be quite useful for the last one, actually. So then, what coasters do we have? We have lots. And we can't make this bigger. Wish you could make this just a little bit bigger. That would help. So those are the blueprints we have. I don't suppose we have any particularly big blueprints still. 44? That's quite big. Might take a look at that and just see what that actually is like. Where was it? There it is. What's it like? No inversions is my immediate thought. So if we just build it. So what does the last one have to be? 8 excitement, 5 fear, 35 miles an hour, and a big drop, which that one does have. So let's just test that and see what this one's actually like. It does look like a big drop, probably not 100 meters, but let's find out. And around it goes. Do -do -do, do -do -do. Oh, it does go on for a while, doesn't it, really? It's 
So that one, at least eight excitement, which it does, at most four fear. Hmm. Average speed of 35, which it has, and a drop of 101. So it's very close, really. If you could drop the fear on that, you would be fine, wouldn't you? So if we edit the track, in fact, um, what do I want to do? I want to look at heat maps. Fear. Yeah, this bit here is the scariest. So what if we just drop the speed of the chain? What happens then if we just do that? How, what, which bits are chains? I'm confused now. Is that a chain? Apparently so. That bit is not. But that bit is. So we just grab that and change the target speed down to 10. So we should see it slow down when it reaches there. Oh, we did not. Will that make any difference whatsoever then? That's, that's the question, isn't it? Last little bit, and it goes. Not really, no. Not really at all. So would I have to do it to more of it? Oh no, so let's just change all of the target speed to 10. So that's made basically no difference. I do have to drop a fair bit of fear as well, don't I? So maybe it's just not worth really trying this one. That is the biggest bit of fear though, isn't it? Although there is a fair bit over here. So what if I... Get the... Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Now what I want is a brake section. A few trim brakes. And let's wait for this little guy to come round again. Not sure it made any difference whatsoever. More brakes. The target speed of significantly less than that. So what speed does it go in there? Yeah, it's going about... So if we drop that down to about 20, 25 maybe? I think it just started a new test, didn't it, when we changed that. So where whereabouts is it? Oh, there it is. Around there, around there, up there, over there. Around, around, and up and down, and around, and then slow down. Hmm, didn't seem to make much difference, did it? Change the target speed more? Change the target speed and increase the, ex the, the, ex the deceleration rate. That's what I should go for. The uh, chain lift didn't have that sort of thing, did it? No. No, it did not. Okay, so around, around. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. That slows it right down. Ah, so still not enough fear. Oh, no, it is enough fear. At most, five. At least 80, but the excitement has dropped so much on the other hand that it seems like that is maybe not going to work very well. What if we just try getting rid of a couple of those? We break the train is what happens. This will be the last one. If this doesn't work, we'll just crack on. We're trying to build this one here with eight inversions. Uh, 
and then the last little bit. So it slows it down a bit, but it still comes around with a little bit of force. And fear has now gone over and it's still not enough excitement. So no, the whole thing is a bust. So let's just get rid of it entirely. There we go. Excellent. Right. So I'm glad we got that sorted. So we need to pick a coaster then, which uh, supports inversions for ages. For all ages. What did I just say? Supports inversions for ages, I think I said. That's not what I meant to say at all. Supports inversions for starters is what I meant to say. I don't, don't, I don't care. Uh, so can invert for all ages. Track inverts, riders don't. I'm not sure that really counts. Can partially invert? No, cannot invert, cannot invert. Can invert for adults and teens only. That might be a good one then. Can adults and teens only. Cannot, cannot, cannot. Can. Oh, I do like that. That was crazy. Wing launched. Linear synchronous motor. What does that even mean? What does that even mean? And the American Arrow can. Hmm. So I think it's going to be one of these, isn't it? Oh, I see. So they're both the same roller coaster, but one uses a linear synchronous motor. And this one uses a chain. Let's stick with the chain, I think. We know where we are with chains, don't we? So let's plop this down. Oh, hang on. Facing the other way is what I want to do. Pop it down there. Why do I feel like that's just... That's what I want. That's what I want. Right. Spin it around. We'll put it about there-ish. And then we need to get ourselves a big old chain lift. And then we'll start bringing it down. Can't come down any more than that. And now it can, for some reason. That's weird. Okay. And we will start turning it a little bit. And then turning it back. In fact, before I just want to bring that back to... No, it's not straight. Okay. Right, to about there. And then... We want to think about doing our inversions. So what do we want? What do we want? Uh, dive loop right. No, we don't actually want to do that. We don't want it to do that. No, we just want it to go straight pretty much, to be honest with you, mate. That's the kind of badger we want. But let's let's have a go in. Let's have a go in that way. Can we make that a bit? A little bit bigger. And then, I don't know, maybe just the same sort of thing. Oh no, we don't want that. That's not a loop. It's not an inversion. What good is that for us? We just start that off. Just see how people respond to that. In fact, I might just hit autocomplete. Oh, that looks horrible, doesn't it? It looks way too fast. Way too fast. And what's it supposed to be? At most four nausea, at least seven excitement. 
Excitement's pretty good. It's just because it dips a bit there. Nausea is terrible on those those inversions. Absolutely terrible. So let's try bringing it up a little bit, just to take off a little bit of the speed before we stick in a loop. We'll make it a little bit bigger as well. Maybe a little bit too much speed we're bleeding off now then. So that struggled to really make that even, didn't it? No, we don't want non-inverted. We want inverted. Does that count as an inversion? That could be a relatively easy way of doing it, couldn't it? Let's just do that. And then maybe just stick on another loop. See how that goes. That well, seems okay. And what if we do another one of, uh... Am I supposed to have an entry, then the middle, and then an exit? Am I supposed to do that? Oh no, it's just left means to write that, so I don't want to do that. So maybe what I should have done down here... I was going into a corkscrew instead to try and uh, get another inversion in. So if I do that, and then do a dive loop over there, maybe. So what have I got there? One, two, three, four, five. If I go directly into a... No. That well, seems to work. Now if I do another... Loop left. Lost kind of how many inversions I've got now. Uh, well, it's one, two, three, four loops and one, two, three corkscrews, I think, isn't it? So let's just put another midsection roll in. And if we go for another loop. And then another one of these. No, I don't want that. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think that'll be enough. So if I just say, go up, go down, and then auto complete. 
How does that look? Terrible. Why is that so terrible? I don't want, and the nausea is terrible as well. Oh, okay. Well, apparently I suck at building these sort of coasters then, really, don't I? Hmm. I guess we'll just undo all of that. And just start again. I might even go back and just make it a bit shorter as well then. Okay. Turn the wrong way, it absolutely did. So, I guess what we're looking to do really is just make it a bit, a bit tighter. I don't know what we're going to do about the nausea though. I mean, it goes fast, that's what it does, it's a bloody roller coaster. What if I say, hmm, What does that really do there? Inverts, uninverts, inverts, uninverts. If that actually counts. Good, is it? Maybe that? That might be okay. Take it back over this way a little bit. Stick in another loop. Oh, that's worked out quite well, hasn't it? And then we'll say we'll stick in another roll of some form. It looks a bit more reasonable, doesn't it? Excitement drops a little bit, but it's generally quite... How's the nausea? Freaking terrible. I don't know what to do with the nausea. Really don't. I mean, break? Put a break in there or something? How many have I got? Oh, I've, got I've got no idea. Let's see how that looks.
absolutely terrible. Seven excitement at most four nausea with eight inversions. I do not know how I could possibly do that. How many inversions does it have? Doesn't even tell you. Number of inversions, eight. So it's the right number of inversions. It's just not exciting at all. And it's horrendously nauseous. I thought the excitement isn't that bad though. I mean, it's quite boring going up the chain lift, but it's a bloody chain lift. It's going to be boring. The rest of it though, I thought if you'd have averaged those up, how many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven where it's under four. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 30. How was the excitement that poor? on that ride. I really don't understand that. That is the excitement heat map, which tells us that the chain lift is boring. Nothing else dips below a what? Six or five, six, eight. How do you make a chain lift more exciting? You can't. That's just a bloody chain lift. So I need to make the ride more exciting and much less nauseous. And I don't know how to do that. How do you make an inversion not nauseous? Because for nausea isn't very much at all. Hmm. Not too sure. Well, I'm going to have to delete it all over again, aren't I? That's, that's for certain. So let's just get that out of the way, I guess. I might just try making it a bit smaller again. But, I mean, there's going to come a point in time where... It's going to struggle to be a real roller coaster, isn't it? So, you know, if I stick an inversion in there straight away, that's going to freak it right out at that sort of speed, isn't it? So if I do it there and say put in a wide vertical loop, that's going to be too high. It's not going to get up there, is it? No. No, it's not. So what if I do it there? Still looks like it's going to be too high. Yep. Um... Let's make the chain lift faster. Don't make any difference. I'm not sure it will. No, why do it make any difference? No. Okay. Definitely don't want... Oh, I did want that. Oh, oh my god. What if I do that and then do it on the other way? That seems alright. And hopefully not entirely horrible. Not entirely horrible. Not great. 
but not entirely horrible. And that's the excitement. The excitement's pretty good as well. Okay, so that's a start. So maybe focus on rolls rather than loops. Maybe that's the uh, the key here. So what else have we got? Got these funny little things. Don't know if it'd make it around there. Oh, it absolutely would. Excellent. Um, and one of them. Yep, okay. I mean, I've got no idea. One, two, three, four... Five, maybe? It's got a lot to try and fit in. Well, that's going to be too fast, isn't it? Let's get rid of that. What if I do that? That's what I wanted to do, but that's not going to fit, apparently. That's fine. Oh, no, oh, I did want it. I wanted that. What do I just get rid of? That, that. So what if I just do that and then say do that? Oh, it doesn't really fit now, does it? That kind of does. Ooh, that doesn't quite work though, does it? Isn't necessarily a bad thing. What if we do that? Oh no, because that won't work for some reason. Try and look for something that wasn't too lo uh, too high. But that looks like that's going to be probably too high. Can I make it a bit smaller? I can. What if we do that? That works. What if I just say auto complete? What happens then? Okay. Relatively hopeful about this. It looks to me like a really fun ride, I'll be honest with you. It doesn't look too horrible. Seems to go slow enough for most of the inversions that it's not going to be too nauseous. Still terrible. Oh god, I do not understand. The nausea is a lot better, but the excitement is terrible. How many inversions? Twelve. We're way over the number we needed, but that's fine. Excitement. It's going to be... Oh, it is terrible. Okay. Hmm. Still too nauseous and not exciting enough. And we've been going for about half hour, so I'm going to have to stop. Basically achieving nothing so far this episode. 
Hmm. I might even have to look it up a little bit on roller coaster etiquette. So I'm not sure what else I could really do, which would help keep the nausea down. You make it too slow and it's boring. Roll seem to be better than loops for inversion. I mean, look at that. That looks bloody awesome, doesn't it? Well, I thought it did anyway. What if we just do... Not that. What if we just do that? What happens then? Put a bit of a bump in that to make it a bit more exciting. No, not much difference at all really, is there? Uh, that has got down the number of inversions to eight. But the excitement is still terrible. Terrible. Hmm. The excitement here is terrible, and I know you're not going too fast, but I mean, that's a class little... I'd love to do that a little bit slow so you can actually see what's around you and stuff. But no, 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 people don't like it. Hmm. Yeah. Might have to go away and have a little bit of a research session, I think. Because then that other one seems like something even more horrible at most five fear. I suppose it doesn't have the inversions, does it? It's just eight excitement. Average speed of 35 and a biggest drop of 100 meters. That's not too bad, I don't think. Because there's no length restriction. There's nothing else in there. So you can just have a drop and then basically just bring it straight back around as long as you've got your excitement high enough. So I think that's not too bad. Okay. Didn't want to do that. Let's get rid of that. I am going to save it there, and I'm going to leave that there. I apologize for achieving nothing, but these loot last two coasters, these lose two coasters, these last two coasters, I'll be honest with you, this is probably what a lot of it's going to be about. Did I get that one saved, number six? I did, yes, today, yes. I suspect this is what a lot of it's going to be like. Just me just fumbling around, trying to figure out how to build a sensible coaster. Ah oh well, anyway, if you did enjoy me fumbling around trying to build a sensible coaster, please do click the like button, it is very, very much appreciated, it honestly, truly is. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so as well, uh, then you can keep up to date with all the upcoming series and videos by clicking the little bell button next to subscribe, you know, if that's what takes your fancy, if that's the sort of thing you're into, I don't know, maybe it is. Any questions or comments, you can leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I see them. Otherwise, I shall see you next time in Planet Coaster's career mode, where we try to build a crazy coaster. That's the plan. Alright, thank you very much for joining me.